Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Clear skies this morning. No clouds. 75 degrees. Expecting high around 83 today, maybe even a little warmer. No red tide, hallelujah. It is a little rough here along the shoreline. Beautiful morning though. Beautiful Sunday morning in paradise, that's for sure. got a feeling these waves have pulled all the shells off the beach this morning. We're going to find out. We take our walk. The tide's still coming in. All those piles of shells that we were seeing for the past several days, I have a feeling they're going to be disappearing. Or maybe getting spread out all over the beach, which would be a good thing. Make it easier to find something new there. <laughs> See what's buried underneath those piles. We're gonna have a pretty good high tide though, that's for sure. We're still a couple hours away from high tide, maybe an hour and a half. You can see how high the water's already coming up back up into here at times. Up ahead of me, looks like it's coming all the way up to the trees already. Wow. We're up in Area 2. We're at the north end of Area 2 right now. Boy. way up on the beach and the waves are getting me way up here. There's a nice little worm shell. That's a nice healthy little worm shell there. Very cool. The other day though, all along here, there are some big piles of shells. All that's left now are some little remnants. The waves have pulled them back into the Gulf. It'll be interesting to see what lies ahead here for us. Boy, some of these waves are really crashing here. Big ones rolling in. Good 
big for the Gulf Coast. Let me rephrase that. The Gulf is usually really calm. Totally opposite from the Atlantic coast of Florida. The other side, over by Miami, they get nice waves all the time. All the shells are gone. There were piles of shells right here where I'm standing. Now they're all gone. Just some little remnants left. Little turkey wing shell. Turkey wing. Son of a gun. See? How the, the wave stirs things up. The waves stir things up. Things that were buried. Whoops. That wave just washed something away that I was going to pick up. Darn it, there was a big moon shell down here. That wave just came up and there it is. That was a piece of one, piece of a shark eye. It's got a chip in it. But I did, right before I saw that, there's a little shark eye and a little apple murex. Another five minutes or less, and these would be gone. These would be a, would have been washed back out into the Gulf. Amazing, isn't it? No matter how many times we look into these piles of shells, we always find something new. Those two shells were side by side. They weren't going to be there long, that's for sure. Well, I'm happy I won't be going home with empty pockets. I hate it when I go home with nothing, but no souvenirs. There's so many of these worm shells on the beach lately. It's just amazing. There's a piece of an old crown conch. Really old crown conch. A little scallop shell. But not much left here. The other day there was a pile of shells here probably a foot deep. piece of a tulip shell. A little piece of a tulip. We just keep walking up. I'm gonna walk north here this morning and see how it looks up in the north end of area four there. morning folks out for their morning beach walk boy as that tide comes up there's not going to be much beach to walk on here today listen to those waves Well, we won't be seeing any dolphins up close to shore this morning. That's for sure. But look, the waves are all, the water's already up to the trees. And we're not at high tide yet. Wow.
love the sounds of the waves crashing on the beach. some shells scattered at the edge of the high tide line right now. But we might get lucky and find something here. You just never know. You never know what came up on the beach at yesterday's high tide. There's my friend Gary sitting over there. Morning, Gary. the end of area three there. That's the north end of area three, that boardwalk back there. Well, if any dolphins come by this morning, they're not going to be close to shore. They'll be out past where you see these waves building out here. You see that white marker? They'll be out on the other side of that white marker out here, that's for sure. Maybe we'll see them. I don't know. It gets hard. Sometimes it's hard to spot them. When it gets rough, it's hard to see that dorsal fin sticking out of the water. But they are out there, that's for sure. Yesterday after my live feed, I saw a little pod of three swimming down the beach. morning. How are you doing today? Good, good. good. Some really nice people out here. A lot of the same faces you get to see over and over. People come out, take their morning walks, go for their morning run. as I expected. The piles of shells that we have seen for the past three days have all been swept off the beach by the waves. But that's not a bad thing. Time for some new shells. over the next couple of days these waves will bring some really nice things up onto the beach no bad surprises though we don't want anything bad right now we're okay no red tide right now here in north naples praying that that stays away All those little tidal pools that we were finding the shells in for the last three days, they're not here now either. It's funny how 
the shape of this beach changes. I mean, every day it looks a little bit different. Sometimes it's drastically different. Sure is beautiful out here though. See the mist and the sea spray in the air as I zoom in. See it down there? Condos are kind of hidden in the mist. coming up between the trees there, right between those two trees. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning here in paradise. I don't know where those ospreys are. I have not seen any ospreys. A lot of times we'd see one sitting way up on top of this tree. I hope they're okay. Boy. Waves are just coming up higher and higher and higher onto the beach. There's a little scallop. A little scallop shell. These scallops are so pretty. You can find them in shades of red, yellow, orange, black, white. You know, it's just amazing. All different sizes. Every once in a while you can find a really nice big scallop here out on the beach. Gosh, I was hoping that we wouldn't get a rough surf like this and the piles of shells that were out here would have just slowly been chipped away at by the changing tides. But instead of chipping away at, it's pretty much wiping them out. Darn it. I mean, there was just so many shells piled up here on the beach. It was so deep. And I know there was lots of great stuff on the bottoms of those piles. Darn it. Why couldn't that be a whole tulip shell? Darn it. Those are some of my favorites, the tulips. Beautiful shells. That would have been a really nice one. Just a piece of one though. Another nice little worm shell. Nice little wormy. It looks like a broken murex down here. Yep. An old worn apple murex shell. I did find one apple murex this morning already. When we first started our beach walk, a little apple murex. I forget what these are called. These little shells, I forget the name of them.
Come on, before the waves take everything away here, I want to find something. Something really nice. There's still a little concentration of shells up here ahead of me. There's a couple of old lightning whelks. Two really old, beat up, worn out lightning whelks. Another neat little worm shell. Absolutely beautiful of weather out here though. It was 75 when I walked out onto the beach. It's probably gotten a degree or so warmer since. It's a lot easier to spot things on the beach when the sun's up. It's just a big blur when that sun's not up. Oh, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything here. Nothing out of the out of the norm. Oyster shells, clam shells. I really thought we'd find it. something neat here. This is the remnants of those piles of shells that we've been seeing. I thought there might be something left here. Old shells, broken shells. Another nice piece of a moon shell. The eye, the shark eye. I have seen some fighting conchs. Not as many as we have in the past few days, but there are some nice little fighting conchs still up on the beach. There's one, a Florida fighting conch shell. Cockle shell down here, piece of a cockle, darn it. Let's not lose faith here. Maybe we'll find something a little further up. Another little cockle shell.
scattered all around by the waves. A little piece of worm rock over here, several, quite a few little pieces of worm rock actually, little chunks. Worm rock, you can find it in all different sizes here. Left of a little moon shell over there. Darn it. Another broken one. A little baby fighting conch shell. Thought I saw a little olive down here somewhere. Yeah. It's a little olive shell. a little skinny worm shell. That's a skinny one. Of course, we have our slipper shells. Can't forget about the slipper shells. Nice and smooth on the outside. You flip it over, it resembles a little slipper. The slipper shell. Boy, that tide is really coming up here. Let me give you a look around here. Beautiful clear blue sky today. No clouds in the sky. Keep my eye open for a dolphin, but it's going to be pretty hard to see them out there this morning as they come by. Whew. That wave just came way up there onto the beach. It's a little nice little cockle here. Not so little. It's a nice size cockle shell. That's a nice cockle right there. Get some sunlight on it. Nice colors. You tell the cockles by these deep ridges. There's another cockle shell over here. Oh, there's a little fish that got washed up. This is what the birds eat, these little fish. I'll put him back in the water here. That's what you see all the birds eating. Up he goes. Ah. They 
get washed up a lot in these waves. Right up onto the shore. Usually the birds are right on top of it though. Put them out of their misery. Here's one of those big piles of shells that's slowly being washed back into the gulf here. It's a pretty good size, pretty good sized pile of shells up there. Lots of fighting conks. I see lots of fighting conks in there. There's one seagull over here on the beach. One lone little seagull. Good morning, buddy. check see you later along here Let's see what's in the water here oh, another oh we see lots of these but there's one right easy to grab a turkey wing just joining and never saw a turkey wing shell. If you're just joining and be sure to introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. It's one of the main reasons for these beach walks is just to provide a background for people to get to know each other. Just, I don't care what you talk about, just no politics and Don't be selling real estate on here either. <laughs> Got a little whelk over here. And a piece of a little lightning whelk. Half of a lightning whelk. That's cool. Half of a lightning whelk shell. on the back side of this pile that we saw earlier, this pile of shells. Anything interesting? Well, that seagull got an, a little fish that washed up on the beach. These waves, all the little fish come washing up with them. Not all of them make it back into the water. Usually there's more birds out here. You see them running up and down the beach. Gorgeous morning out here today. Beautiful as we look up to the north there, that beautiful blue sky. Blue sky. 
sky all around us today. Look at that. No clouds. No red tide. days ago it was flat here the Gulf was just flat it started picking up and now it's getting rougher Finding a whole heck of a lot in the way of shells. Lots of broken stuff. A piece of a tulip shell, the side of a big tulip shell. Wow. That would have been a nice little find. A lot of broken moon shells, broken whelks. This high tide, it's not high tide yet. When this, these waves come up onto the beach, they're pretty much gonna sweep off all the shells. They're gonna pull them back into the gulf. Then hopefully, with another tide change, we'll get some new shells up on the beach. That's what happens. It's just constantly evolving here. Every morning is different. You just never know what you're going to find out here. Hit and miss. There's an osprey. I was worried about our ospreys. I hear one chirping up in the tree here. Thank goodness. I was hoping they were okay. I, hope they, I was hoping they didn't get sick. There's been some birds getting sick from eating the fish that died. That got that toxic red algae. The red algae. And then it got passed along to the birds when they ate it. But there is an osprey up here in the tree. It's going to be kind of hard to see here. It's right up here. That's not too hard to see, is it? There's one of our beautiful ospreys. Happy to see it up there. That's as close as I can get there. The Osprey. O-S-P-R-E-Y. To 
want to learn more about them, just Google Osprey. So that Osprey is sitting right up in there, where we're looking at, right up there. That sky is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's so blue. Beautiful blue sky all around us. Some nice little wave action out here this morning. Good and bad. Sadly, it's chipping away at our beach. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, if you're just joining us, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Jump into the conversations there. That's what these beach walks are all about, bringing people together. Keeping people informed with the water conditions in North Naples and also bringing people together on social media. That's what Southwest Florida Television is all about. And if you're wondering, there is no red tide here today. No red tide. coming in. You can see how it's washed away at the beach right here. I still hear that osprey calling out behind me. Nice little worm shell here. Nice little worm shell. That's a beauty right there. That is a great looking little worm shell. I heard another osprey calling back from somewhere down here. I don't see it. Replying, I guess, to the other one's call. A little murex shell, a little tiny apple murex. Not many shells left on the beach here. These waves are pull them all back into the Gulf here. Oh well, that's how it goes. Piece of a pear whelk down here. A little chipped up there, but that's a pear whelk. Or no, that's a is that a pear whelk or that's a paper fig. Sorry, that's a paper fig, not a pear whelk. Very very thin. These these are like glass. Let's see, look when I hold it up. See how you can see right through it light on it. Very, very thin. The paper fig. Yep, how are you doing today? 
Yep. There you go. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Piece of a little tulip shell. I in the uh, guy, huh? the old guy that used to be here. What is his name? Roy. Roy. He passed? No, he's been sick, very sick. Uh, how old is he? Nine something? Nine, 93. Yeah. Gonna be yeah. 94. In three yeah, weeks. he always used to be here, so yeah. I figured. He got sick from going out in the water. Oh, really? He almost, his leg got infected, oh. and they almost had to cut it off. What do you get infected in the ocean? There's bacteria. It's it very it's very rare to get it. Yeah. But he went in and he he had a, a cut on his on his oh. leg, a big cut, and he went in the water. Yeah. And he's in a hospital or No, he's he's recovering now at home. Okay. But it's been four months, five months. Oh I see. Because I come only in like December, so yeah. okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, enjoy. That's funny. Everybody wants to know where Roy is. I don't blame him. I definitely miss having him out here with me. I did see him this morning. I see him almost every morning. I see him out on his morning walk, which I don't know if those are any good for him. You would think walking's good for you, but his leg is really swelling up and I believe he should be keeping his leg up now and not going out for these hour long walks in the morning. No, nothing. Nothing there. Darn it. Gonna be able to go much further up the beach. Any last little finds up here before we turn around? I see, I had a couple more people sign on here. Please, please make sure you introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's a nice little scallop shell. Beautiful. Is there another one over there? Yeah. Two. Two great looking little scallop shells and then a nice little, hang on. Nice little worm shell in between them. Two nice little scallops. Beautiful colors. Nice little worm shell there. That's a great worm shell. Even though the shelling was not that good this morning. I still got a pocket full of stuff. A lot of nice little worm shells. If you've been following along over the past few days, you'll remember we had some pretty hefty piles of shells on the beach. Well, what's happening now is it's a kind of rough. This is rough for the Gulf of Mexico here, these waves. But as the tide's coming in here, the waves are coming up on shore. It's probably going to be a little higher tide than normal with these waves, but they're just hitting those piles of shells and pulling them back into the water. So that's what happens. You know, the piles of shells come and go here. All of a sudden, one morning I'll come out and the beach will be covered with shells again. Well, 
Well, not any room to get up any further here. The beach is gone right now. You can only get around these trees during low tide. All this beach got washed away during Hurricane Irma in September of 2017. Sad. You can see how high the beach used to be. See that stump? Slowly, slowly eroding. But you never know, another, God forbid, another big storm and it could pile the sand back up on the beach. That's what happens. It just, it comes and goes. Big waves crashing here. Big waves. Man. That water is definitely cooling down though. That's for sure. comes a big one. Wow. I love the sound of the waves. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, please hit the share button. Have your friends join in with us. As many of you know, I don't get paid to come out and do these beach walks. I enjoy doing it. Ooh, there goes an osprey flying overhead. Had a fish in its talons. Heading back to one of the pine trees. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't get paid to do these beach walks and every once in a while, somebody will make a little contribution. I really appreciate that. If anybody's feeling generous, you can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. I'm not one of those rich people that lives in Naples. I'm just like you, just a working class citizen. I'm just up here taking in the waves up in Area 5. Wow, they're really breaking up here. Wow, we get some really big ones crashing on the shore here. The tide's still coming in. A 
a bit too rough, I think, to see dolphins this morning. Just a bit too rough. They're going to be further offshore, and it's kind of hard to spot them with the waves. But yesterday, when I was walking back to my car, I did see three, three swimming along the beach. So thank goodness they're still out there. Oh, here comes a nice little wave. I'm gonna, I gotta get around these trees here. I'm waiting for a little lull. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. Whoop, here comes a big one. Ah, made it. Got around them. Hey, be sure, be sure to like the Non-Stop Naples Facebook page. Just do that. While you're on Facebook here this morning, go to search for Non-Stop Naples if you haven't done so already. Like that page. We're going to start doing some live feeds from that page as well. We're going to be going to different beaches. Not too often, but you'll definitely want to watch those. I'll be going with... Belfair Graves, will be Belfair and I from, we'll be on the Nonstop Naples page. So just make sure you like that page. Also download the Nonstop Naples app, free app to get some rewards here around town. Loving this blue sky out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that sky. What a picture.
couple little broken shells down here. A couple little pear whelks. Piece of a crown conch. Actually, that's a nice little pear whelk right there. Wow. It's not in too bad a shape. Nice little baby pear whelk. Stick that in my pocket. There's another one that's, yeah, that's not in too bad a shape either. Two little pear whelks. Crown conch. There's another one down here. There's an old crown conch, really old. Another little pair. That's a worm shell that I've just been hanging on to. I don't want to break it, but I don't want to put it in my pocket and break it. Piece of a little shark eye shell there. There's a few little shells still left on the beach, but in another hour, I think they're going to be gone. As soon as that tide comes all the way in gonna wash all these little guys away. Not many here right now. Gotta look really close. My piece of little ones left here. Nothing's nothing's jumping out at me there. Broken moon shell down here. Another broken one. Another piece of a shark eye shell, darn it. Only, only found one little shark eye this morning. There's another broken one. I did find my share of those though over the past several days, so I can't complain. More than my fair share. Those and murex shells, boy. We found a lot of them over the past several days.
nice wave action today. Not a whole lot of beach here today. But no red tide, that's the good news. No red tide. Hallelujah. Camera's really getting blown around out here today. It's gorgeous. Uh... That sky is just incredible. It's so blue today. The waves. where I like to check out the waves here. Now 
How you doing? wind is pretty strong right here, out on the point here. That is a big pile of shells right there. Right down there in front of me. It's pretty deep. It's just gonna get pulled back into the gulf, just flattened out. So there'll be something new out here.
really just enjoying the sounds of the waves. pile of shells right there. Tomorrow we probably won't see it. Who knows? Clouds starting to roll in here now. 
little tiny clouds. Pretty breezy out here. I'm walking into the wind now. Clouds rolling through right now. The sun's just behind one of them. There it comes back out.
gorgeous Sunday morning. So we look north up the beach. No red tide. Strong breeze though hit me in the back here. That wind has really got the water churned up here. I'm up at the north end of Area 3 right now. Check in with my friend Gary. See if he's seen anything interesting to swim by. There he is. There you go. The man in the sea. Anything exciting? Uh, not really. Just a lot of waves. Yeah, nice waves though. Hard Except to four. see any dolphins. It's pretty rough to see yeah, them. Yeah, there's no bait fish in, so they won't be around. Oh, there's bait fish. They're oh, washing. They're... they're washing up on the beach in oh, the waves. Oh, I did see some little ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming in. They're washing up on the beach in the waves. Yeah. You know what? I've been seeing the little sparkles here. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's your day going? Good. Real good. Good. Give good. A little free game for the uh, Vikings this afternoon. There you go. Yeah. Go Vikes. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a great day. Maybe I'll run into you later at the old watering hole. I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary, have a good one. Good one, man. Take it easy. Yep. You're you're my dolphin spotter from now on, okay? Oh, absolutely. All right. No, I call it into some of the, the tourist guys. There you go. Let them know. All right, good idea. Yeah, they like to know where it's at. Great. Good idea. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, it's a little too rough to see the dolphins out here today. They'll be out in deeper water. Gary used, to, Gary used to play hockey up north. Now he's down here in southwest Florida. Like a lot of people from up north. How are you doing? Oh, well, thank you very much. So nice to meet people out here, see people out here on the beach that are followers. A lot of our friends who follow along here are going to be showing up. In January, it really gets busy here. All our snowbird friends come down. And Spend time in their winter residence in Naples and throughout Southwest Florida. 
gives me a chance to put a face to a lot of these names I see here in the comments. That's so neat. Oh, I hear one of our ospreys right up here in the tree. Right in that on that branch that they perch at. Hear it? Right up on the end of that branch. See if it stays there so I can zoom in and get you a close-up look. It's got some beautiful light on it. Darn winds blowing the camera around. Darn it. It is really windy out here. Figures when we got some gorgeous light, the wind's blowing the camera all around. Darn it. Beautiful birds, those ospreys. Ugh. Let's see if I can get behind the tree. Get out of the wind and still get a shot of the osprey. Bear with me here. See if I can do this. Oh, it's whipping right around this tree here. Let me see here. There's actually like a little seat I can sit on. Might be a little better. That's a little better. Still blowing the camera around. There's a great look at one of our ospreys. Beautiful birds, absolutely beautiful. So happy to see them. Give us a look here, look this way. Hear it calling out there. Looking right at us. Very cool. Yep, and off it goes. Get it flying out into the Gulf. It's pretty far offshore already. Just above the water. I have spotted a school of fish out there. Their eyesight is unbelievable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk. You know I don't get paid to do this. I do love coming out here and sharing our beach with you and bringing everybody together. Every once in a while, somebody will make a little donation. That's wonderful, a little contribution. If you feel like doing that, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. A little token of appreciation. I'm not asking for tons of money. Just help with the phone bill and gas to get back and forth to the beach you know, nothing crazy anyway have a wonderful wonderful Sunday wherever you might be watching from I know we've got friends watching from all around the world that is so cool from all different parts of this big beautiful world we live on Remember, you can always find these videos on YouTube as well. I post a copy of them on my YouTube channel. Be sure to take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. And when you find something you like, hit the like and share button. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Also, while you're on Facebook, search for Non-Stop Naples. Non-Stop Naples. One word, Non-Stop Naples. And actually, you can do it with one word or three words. Non-stop, maple, however, it should pop right up on Facebook. Make sure you like that page. We're going to be doing some live feeds from there. We're going to be going to different beaches and sharing those on the Non-stop Maples page. And also some other landmarks around town. And we're going to do that on a pretty regularly scheduled basis. We're going to set up a schedule for those walks. These beach walks are kind of random. 
although I've been out here a lot lately. I have no idea how my schedule is going to go. So every time my schedule allows, I do come out for a beach walk. Rough morning this morning. Not very much in the way of shells. A bit rough to see dolphins. We didn't see any dolphins this morning. However, we did see a couple of ospreys. That was nice. Again, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.